Hey everyone, Andri Katz here and welcome back to my channel. It's August, so that means new and exciting stuff has arrived at the trading post. Before I go ahead and show you the goodies, please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you like to see more content. It's completely free and it will mean the world to me. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I'll start with the most expensive ones and work my way through them, leaving the cheapest for last. Firstly, we have the Fury of the Far Lord, a one hand maze which was actually again available on February's trading post. As a matter of fact, I'm quite relieved now that I see items from previous trading posts making a comeback. Because you can only purchase a limited amount of rewards each month, so yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty good. This fiery maze is the most expensive item this time around, costing 750 tendies. So if you have saved up a bit from previous months, now you can maybe get it. To tell you the truth, I really don't know if we'll see it again anytime soon. So now is your chance. Second item on the list is the Spirit of Competition, a Dragon King battle pet worth 650 tendies. I believe this had a chance to drop from a battleground win during a promotional event back in 2008. Honestly, it looks pretty neat and if you are a pet collector, you should really really go for it. Who knows when and if we are going to see it again. Moving on, we have our first mount, the Ancestral Cleft Hoof. At again 650 tendies. Truthfully, I don't really like this one. It's quite big and chunky and well, it's only ground mount. But if you do like collecting, well, by all means, go for it. Before you decide if you want to buy it, we still have a couple of mounts left. The Alabaster Thunderwing and Storm Talon. These are actually faction specific. So the Thunderwing can only be ridden with Horde characters and the Storm Talon, well, it's the Alliance equivalent. These were previously available to buy from the shop, so I'm actually really glad that we can now buy them with an in-game currency. Moving on to a slightly cheaper one, at 510 days you can buy an Ethereal Trasmogrifier. Yeah, that's right, this is a toy and you can now summon a Trasmog NPC to use his services. It has a cooldown of 10 minutes and, well, he stays up for 10 minutes as well. So it's actually basically available always and indoors too. The next items are all worth 400 each, so we have two shields, the Aquamarine Felfar Bulwark, a green variation and the ruby one, which as you can tell by the name is, uh, well, a red one. Then we have the Blade of Brutal Sacrifice, a dagger originating from the Blood Trolls themselves. Uh, probably, I mean, that's what I understand from the name. And well, it's red too. This actually goes really well with the special reward, which we're gonna see at the end of the video. The Crown of Eternal Winter is another cosmetic item you can get. This was first introduced in Pandaria and later on through Prime Gaming. It has a really, really nice effect. It looks like a skull after a while and, well, I think it will really, really look good on a Death Knight or maybe a Frost Mage. But in any case, it's a really, really cool headpiece. The next two items on the list are 100 swords at the same color variation with the shields we saw before. We have a ruby one, which is red, and the aquamarine, which is this green in teal color. The final item worth of 410 this is this Hood of Hungering Darkness. This again falls to the same category as the Crown of Eternal Winter. It has some really really cool effects. Honestly, I think these two headpieces are one of the best cosmetic items you can get this month, but you can be the judge for that. At 225 tendies, we have two more items, the Crimson Nexus Crescent and the Azure. These are basically 200 axes, the first one is, well, red, and the second one is blue. In general, this month we are getting a lot of blues and reds, I think that's the motto of this month, and yeah, we have more down the line. But anyway, the next two items are worth 210 this each, and we actually have seen them before in February's trading post. The first one is the Shard of Frozen Secrets, a blue dagger, and the Azure Scalesworn Longbow, which is this very pretty blue bow. As you can see, I've already bought it back then, as it was quite cheap, and I really like it. For this month, we have two color variations of scarf, hoodies and clocks. We have a blue one and, uh, well, you guess it, a red one. These all cost 100 each, so you can pick your choice, I guess. 
We also have a pair of blue and red gloves, again at 110 this each. The final two items of this month are shields. We have a wooden hoard one and a bigger, more fancy alliance one. Even though they look quite cheap, uh, well, because they are, I mean, they cost only 50 tendies each, um, I really like how the light reflects on them, so I think they're quite the bargain. And that's all about the August Trading Post rewards. This month's special reward requires you to complete 1400 points and you get a Blood Troll full Trasmog set. That's right, you get this beautiful ensemble. I really like this one, it's a really well made set and frankly at this point I think this is the closest we're gonna get at being a Blood Troll and I'm gonna get it. As always, thank you so much for watching my content, I really do appreciate it and make sure to drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!